Hi and welcome to lesson 9.3. We're solving volume problems. Here is the guided practice. And what we're asked to do is find the volume of this triangular prism. I'm going to expand this a little bit. So to find the volume, we have to find the base area times the height. And the base area, well, I guess I'll zoom back out a little bit. They're guiding you through this here. So the base area is that big B. And we have to take the area, so the base is a triangle, so the base area is the area of that triangle. And take the area of a triangle, it's one half base times height. One half base, which is the length of the base, which is eight, times the height of that triangle, which is three. So that's why it's one half eight times three. And one half times eight is four, four times three is 12. And this is square units. So that's going to be a little two right there because it's square units, square is always two. And then we have the volume is the base area, which is what we just found, which is 12. So that's gonna be 12 times the height of the prism. And the height of the prism is uh, this right here. It's the seven. It's the distance between the two triangles. The triangles are the bases. So that should be a seven. And it's still square uh, feet. So I'm sorry, <laughs> square. Volume is cubed. Hello. Yeah, volume's cubed. So now it turned from square units, that's square units, times another dimension is cubic units. So that tells us how many cubes we have in this triangular prism. So it's 84 because 12 times 7 is 84 cubic feet. Find the volume of the tra uh, trapezoidal prism. I'll bring this up here. And what we have is uh, the so the volume is here. So the volume is the base area times the height of the prism. Now the base area is what this is all about. It's 30. See, we take the, uh, this right here is the vo uh, the area of the trapezoid. Uh, well, part of the area of the trapezoid. We have one half base sub one time plus base sub two. So base sub one is five uh, and base sub 2 is 15. It really doesn't matter. Base sub 1, base sub 2, as long as you're adding the two bases of the trapezoids. And that goes back to sixth grade right there. So you're adding the bases of the trapezoids and you mul multiply that by a half and also by the height of the trapezoid. So the height of the trapezoid is 3. So all of this is just taking the area of the trapezoid, which is 30. And that's area, like I said, so that's square units. Then we take that 30 and we multiply it by the height of the prism. And the height of the prism is this uh, 11 right here. So I will uh, take, that should be 30 times the height, which is 11. This is still, oh, and now it's in cubic units. And 30 times 11 is 330. And that's the volume of the trapezoidal prism. Now we have this here. Uh, this is a composite figure. Now a composite figure is something that's, uh, it's a figure made up of two regular figures. Like here we have a tri uh, we have a uh, rectangular prism and a triangular prism and when you put them together now it's a composite figure. Uh, the volume of the rectangular prism is really just 12 times 6 times 4 which is 288 you multiply those three together. The volume of the triangular prism. Uh, so the triangular prism here, I will, uh, I'll calculate that for you. I'll do that one. So the, and I'll, I'll write this out. This should be, this should be equal to four times six times 12. That's pretty easy. Now the other one, for the volume of that triangular prism, it should be the base area, which I'm looking at four, four times six, because that's six. So four times six divided by two, that's area of the triangle. So four times six divided by two, uh, and then times the height of the prism. And the height of the prism is the distance between the triangles, the distance between the bases, so that's six. So I multiply that by 
by 6. So that should be, that's 24 divided by 2 times 6. That's 12 times 6, which is uh, 72. So when I remove this, it should be 72 cubic feet. Now the volume of the entire composite figure is the sum of the 288 and the 72, which is 360 cubic feet. Now we have this here. We have uh, another composite figure. We have the figure shows a barn that Mr. Fowler is building for his farm. Okay, uh, what's the volume? So find the volume of this. Well, it's going to be the same kind of thing as what we just did. It's going to be the volume uh, of this rectangular prism plus the volume of the triangular prism. I'm going to do that over here. I'm going to do it in white. And the volume of the rectangular prism, that is, uh, let's see, 40. 40 times 50 times, I can't see this, uh, 15 times 15. Length times width times height. And let's see, that is 20 with two zeros times 15. Uh, 2 times 15 is 30 with 1, 2, 3 zeros. Okay, so that's the volume of, of the rectangular prism. I'm just going to hold on to that. And I guess I could say it's cubic feet. And then the volume of the triangular prism, that is base times height, which is 40 times 10. 40 times 10 divided by 2. That's the area of the triangle, right? So I did 40, because that's 40. 40 times 10 divided by 2, and then I'm going to multiply all that by 50 because that's the height of the prism, the distance between the bases. So that's all times 50. Uh, so I could do 40 divided by 2. Well, I guess I'll, I'll do 40 times 10 is 400 divided by 2. That should be 200 times 50. And 2 times 5 is 10. And then I add three zeros. So that's 10,000 uh, cubic feet. So when I add the 30,000 plus the 10,000, I would get 40,000 cubic feet. And that would be my final answer. Let's see how I did. 40,000 cubic feet. Okay. Now... Number five, let's see. Oh, this is a little bit more challenging because we have a trapezoidal prism like we did earlier. So we need to find the volume of this. Oh, it's not that bad. I'll move this over a little bit more. I will use my white color. And I need to get the base area. So I'll call it big B for base area is, um, I'll copy what they have. It's one half B sub one plus B sub two times the height of the trapezoid. So one half and one base is 10 and the other base is 12. And I'm looking at the bases of the trapezoid. So this is the trapezoid and one is 10 and the other one's 12 because I can see this is 12 here. So that's also 12. So I have to add those two bases together. 10 plus 12 and then the height of the trapezoid, uh, that is going to be 5. This is 5 right here, and that is the trapezoid right here. By the way, they, they have all these right angles because base and height need to meet at 90 degrees. So they're telling you that meets at 90 degrees, so this is base and height. And this meets at 90 degrees, so this is the other base, and that's the height still. Uh, so it's 5. And then I have one half, 10 plus 12, that's 22 times five. And then one half times 22, that's half of 22, which is 11 uh, times five. And that is 55, and this is square centimeters. 
uh, now the volume is going to be that base area times the height. See, volume is base area times the height of the prism. And we know the base area is 55. And the height of the prism is the distance between the bases. So that's 7. Uh, from this base to the other base is 7. And so that's time 55 times 7. I actually don't know what that is. 55 times 7, that's 35. That's 38, 385 uh, cubic centimeters. That is, should be it. And let's see how good I did. 385 cubic centimeters. All right. Now we have our last question here. How do you find the volume of a composite solid formed by two or more prisms? Well, that's mostly what I was doing here. You find the volume of each of them using the formula volume is base area times the height of the prism, and then you add the volume of all the prisms. And so there you go. There's a guided practice for these composite solid volumes. Thanks for watching.